Boys, it is back. So yes, the Ties of Ashes is back. And boy, my count is still not ready. But anyways, in this video, I'll be giving out some tips that I personally learned after doing the first Ties of Ashes. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into my first tip for you guys, which is using your support wisely. Editor Argus here. I just realized that I kept on saying support while it should be assist. So yeah, keep that in mind, boys. All right, back to the video. From my personal experience, and after asking other players, I found that picking up healers like Hamel or Ariel is not the best choice especially if your DPS are not max, since you're just going to be missing out on that extra DPS that those assist slot will give. Now what I would recommend you to do is to build some healers like Hamel, Ariel, and even Macchiato to heal your team and use that extra support slot on DPS such as Nox or Shackle 5 Summer. Not like I have Shackle 5 Summer or anything but um, yeah. The next step that I want to give you guys is try to make each team balance. Every day you will have 3 chances to attack the boss and you can't use the same unit on the same boss twice in a day. So balancing everything out is important here. Now what I would do on my team comp is usually have someone who can tank a bit like Nox or Zoya, some DPS, and a healer. You can also put in some buffers such as Enver or Kermillion if you want to. But remember, try to balance each team comp so that all of them can survive and deal damage to the boss until the very end. Well, the Ties of Ashes 2 won't be having any major changes if you compare to the first one. So, for those that already have a taste of it, then good luck to you all. But if you're new to this guild event, then fear not, because this video will help you on what you need to know about the Ties of Ashes. Okay then, see you. Peace.